Tonight, though, we're joined by the party's campaign spokespeople from Melbourne, Labor Senator Penny Wong, and from Canberra, Coalition Senator Matthias Cormann. Welcome to both of you. Good, Good evening. To be here. Good to be here. Thank you. I'm going to start by e asking each of you to nominate, in policy terms, the single biggest area of difference between the two parties as you see it. Firstly, Senator Wong. Well, I, I think it's the economy and it's uh, uh, Labor which says we want to be able to steer the economy through these challenging times. We've laid out positive plans about how to do that. Smart investments in infrastructure, in the NBN, in education, uh, as opposed to the coalition's cuts to the bone. Uh, that's what we know Tony Abbott would do were he elected. Cut to the bone, cut into jobs, health and education that families rely on. Senator Cormann, I'll let you uh, rebut that in a second, but let me just ask you the same question firstly. What do you see as the single biggest area of difference between the two parties? Well, it, it is all about the economy. And over the last six years, Labor has taken Australia in the wrong direction. Uh, Labor has uh, spent too much, they've taxed too much, they've imposed uh, way too much additional red tape. The cost of doing business has continued to go up. Uh, our productivity growth has slowed down. Australia is not in a strong uh, position as we could have been and as we should have been. And there is, of course, a better way. Uh, the coalition uh, will be uh, serious about uh, spending less so we can tax less. Uh, we will be serious about cutting red tape, making Australia more competitive internationally again so that we can uh, build a stronger uh, more prosperous uh, economy and of course Penny Wong talks about uh, cutting to the bone the Labour Party uh, is taxing uh, people to the bone we think that government should spend less uh, so we can tax less so we can grow our economy more strongly Senator Wong well it's interesting uh, you asked Matthias about policy and I think he just repeated the same old negative slogans, the same old... It was a very uh, positive pitch, Penny. Uh, you, uh, I'm sure you'll have your turn too, Matthias. The same old negative slogans, the same old uh, aggressive response that we've heard from the Coalition for too long. Uh, the reality is we are facing economic challenges as a nation. Uh, we're seeing the end of the China resources boom. We're seeing growth moderating in China, our, our major trading partner. And the question is, uh, who do you trust to steer the economy through this time without junking the fair go? Uh, because uh, let's be clear what the coalition is, is proposing. Uh, they, they, they are not being upfront about it, but they are proposing billions of dollars of cuts. Well, let me ask Senator Cormann, um, what are the cuts that you are proposing? because Labor, of course, uh, keeps pointing this out, but we don't yet know exactly what the coalition's going to do. Well, I, I noticed that uh, Penny Wong is not repeating her false claims that she made on the weekend of uh, $70 billion worth of cuts, which, of course, uh, were exposed as uh, the well, lie well, that Matthias, they are. Matthias, tell us what she you're actually about, going to do She then. talks about billions oh, of dollars on. in cuts now. I mean, look, the, the, we've, been, we've been very clear. We've already announced a whole series of uh, savings measures. We've already announced that we will not proceed uh, with the school kids bonus. We've already announced that we will delay uh, the full phasing in compulsory super to 12% that, uh, percent by that's two years. We've announced a whole Matthias, series. You know We've that. announced a whole series of uh, savings measures. And of course, uh, between now and uh, the election, uh, there'll be more announcements. But of course, before we can finalise our judgment, we need to get a better read on the true state of the budget. Because what the past uh, has uh, told us uh, is that you can't ever uh, trust the budget papers or the budget up Okay. Uh, that come from the Labor Party. You've both raised trust um, a little bit in your answers. Both mm. parties are campaigning on a platform of trust and change. Senator Wong, Labor's slogan is a new way. You've been in office for six years. Is promising a new way an admission that your way so far has been a failure in voters' eyes? I think that the government uh, has done a lot of good things to prepare Australia for these economic times. Uh, investment in the NBN, the enabling infrastructure of the 21st century. So investment, why do you need a new way then? Yeah, I'll come to that. Investment in schools, uh, investment uh, in uh, infrastructure more broadly. Uh, but I do think uh, that we've seen a period in politics and in public policy uh, which has been uh, very, very aggressive. Uh, and I think the Prime Minister is absolutely right when he says uh, the only way the country is going to uh, uh, come through these economic challenges is if we work together and, and we need to have business, unions, the community and government uh, working together far more than to date uh, in order to meet the challenges of the future. Senator so Coleman, I think, sorry, 
Senator. No, no, no. So I'm simply making the point. I, I think uh, you have to build on what you've done, but there's no doubt the circumstances do require a renewed commitment uh, to working together, and that's what the Prime Minister is putting forward. Senator Cormann, on, on the trust point for you, is that a risky strategy for the Coalition, given that the opinion polls show that vo voters don't particularly like Tony Abbott? Uh, not at all. I mean, I say to people who are looking for a new way that the only way you're going to get a new way uh, is uh, through a new government. Uh, and of course, I mean, what we've shown uh, in, in for a very long time now uh, is that we can be trusted uh, with our commitments. I mean, when we say there will be no carbon tax uh, under a government led by Tony Abbott, we mean it, unlike, of course, uh, the current government. I mean, oh, if you look. So, so how do you explain your, your turnabout on education? I mean, look, that's a ridiculous proposition, uh, Matthias. Uh, we know that. Uh, the one thing Tony Abbott can be trusted to do is to slash and burn. Well, Senator That's well, the one Senator thing Senator 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 we're before the election. We're, Senator we're setting Coleman. out before the election Senator what we're Coleman, planning to do. You, why don't you respond on the point that uh, Senator Wong asks there about education? Well, I mean, it's, it, firstly, uh, education has been a moving feast under the current government. There have been six different versions uh, of uh, their so-called Gonski reforms. And in fact, what they're implementing, of course, uh, is not the Gonski proposal. They're implementing the sixth version uh, down from that. And what we've said is uh, quite transparently, openly and transparently uh, to the Australian people in good time before the election, uh, is that we understand that schools across Australia need funding certainty. And we commit ourselves uh, to the same funding envelope as the one uh, put on the table by the current government over the next four years. Uh, that means that uh, what, whoever is elected to government, uh, no school across Australia will be uh, worse off. But of course, what we will not be adopting uh, is uh, Labor's centralising uh, why the command control out of Canberra, oh, seeking really? to run every individual <laughs> school across Australia. Senator we will not be adopting uh, a range of other features of, of Labor's plan. But like what we've said is we understand that schools across Australia are looking for funding certainty. Okay. And we have made that we've very that clear point. in good yeah. time before Thank the election. You. Senator Wong, right of reply? Uh, well, I, I'd say this. Uh, the reason Tony Abbott has changed his tune, but not what's in his heart on education, is because he understands uh, that people out there do support education. But the reality is this. Joe Hockey himself has said that the coalition needs to find $70 billion worth of cuts. You cannot find that unless you hack into uh, jobs, education and health. That is the only way the coalition can make the books balance, which they tell us they're going to do. Is what that... they're not telling us, what they're not telling us, is where they're going to cut. Is that correct, Senator Cormann? Uh, it's just not true. I mean, Penny Wong well, uh, was found I mean, out about a false claim about $70 billion worth of cuts on the weekend. So Joe Hockey is wrong, is he, Matthias? Well, Joe just... Hockey is wrong. Like, Senator I mean, you're... go on. You, 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 are, you are completely uh, taking out of context past statements and I think okay. uh, you well understand that, Penny. And repeating a lie uh, continuously doesn't, doesn't make it true. We will well, be releasing our fiscal strategy and our pre-election costings in good time before the next election. Senator Cormann, so people regardless will be able to form their judgment. Well, well, sorry well, to uh, cut can you off. Senator, 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 Senator Cormann, regardless of what the actual numbers are, we know that there is a billion dollar uh, black hole in the budget. So do you concede that the Coalition will have to announce areas of significant further savings? Well, what we know is that over the last 11 weeks since the last budget, under Labor, the budget position has deteriorated by $3 billion well, a week. You're not answering the question, and what, I, and what I would invite you to do... Well, you're not I mean, answering the it question. Is, it is entirely you, relevant you to the question. You never answer this question. Well, it is entirely relevant to the question because it, of course, is entirely dependent on the starting position that we inherit. And what I would invite you to do, Lee, is to look at Labor's economic statement in 2010 before the last election. If you look at what actually has happened over the last three financial years, the budget position is $110 billion worse off than what Labor told us before the last very, election. So we don't take any uh, lessons from the Labor Party brief, in terms right of, of how to manage the Very brief right of reply, Senator Wong. S thank you, Lee. Uh, well, a very simple proposition. Uh, if Matthias and Tony Abbott say that the $70 billion is not the right figure, then they can put their cuts out for all to see and tell us what the figure really is and where they're going to take it from. They haven't been prepared to do that. We are out of time tonight, but hopefully we'll see you both again during the campaign. Senator Would Wong, Senator Cormann, thank Absolutely. you very much. Thank you.